everybody, it's Jeff Schmidt, and as a follow-up to my uh, interactive adaptive audio in FMOD videos, I wanted to do uh, show you a little trick I use when uh, looping ambient material, because uh, if you remember in the other videos, if you haven't seen them, we're doing interactive score, we're doing submixes. So I have a cue here in Pro Tools for I'm going to use for a level, and then I break out four or three different mixes of that cue so we can adaptively crossfade between them and do kind of an adaptive audio thing. So one of the tensions I call them, or uh, we can call them, one of the levels I use is pretty much just like a basic ambient level, which is what this is here. Let me just make sure this is potted up correctly. Uh, so this will be like the very base level. And you can see how that fades in. And this is fine, actually, uh, if this cut didn't have to loop, but it does have to loop. So uh, if we look at the cue, the actual length of the cue here, and let's go into dynamic transport mode so you can kind of see what happens if I try to loop this. Watch when it loops back around here to there. That's how that's going to loop if I leave it like that. So obviously that's not satisfactory. That's not how we want to be working. So basically what I did was instead of just stopping the, the recording there, when I printed it to this track, let me pop out of dynamic transport for a second. I let it finish uh, and let it fade out here at the end to basically nothing. So what that enables me to do then is capture this. I'll just grab a section of it. And I'll stick this on the beginning of this section here like that. All right. Uh, now I can create a little crossfade. Actually, I'll do a bigger crossfade like that. And I'll use equal power. Boom. So now when I listen to this, yes, it crossfades. Now, because this was the end of that, it should fade flawlessly. But let's just make sure that it does. I'll put this in dynamic transport. I'll fast forward my playhead all the way to the end, and we'll just double check as we always should. We'll check our loop. Flawless. Great. So that's how you loop an ambient track by stealing the end and sticking it on the beginning, doing a little crossfade. And that's the tip of the day. Thanks.